trying to do good in the name of Mark and Jacob. Well, can you tell us about what it was like to have to sit here through all these court proceedings? Um, so, you know, I think I've said this um, from the beginning of the trial. This trial, every day in court here, felt like I'm attending the funeral of the boys again, day after day. That's how it felt. And seeing the defendant and seeing the, the defense attorneys, it just was that bad. Can you, you said you your like boys were with you. Could you just um, talk to us about Mark and Jacob? Well, um, <laughs> this would be it. <laughs> well, they were um, godly children. They loved God. They were raised at the church. Um, they were hardworking. They were honest. They cared about the truth. And uh, they were um, they were spoke for by a prosecution who's also just that hardworking, honest, cares about the truth. So we cannot be more thankful. We feel blessed. We're part of this community. Um, what, was your what would you like to see as far as the sentence? Down, the very first one when it first came down. Um, it felt like um, all the the stress of the years and and hard work and and uh and the hope has paid off have, you know and someone is now held accountable mark and jacob didn't die mark and jacob were murdered that's how i'll be thinking tonight as i go to bed what would you like to see as far as a sentence i know that's coming up next month i <clears throat> I'll leave that up to the judge. Nancy, I know that you're a, a kind person. I can tell you're a gentle person. What was it like to see Rebecca Grossman put in handcuffs? Obviously heartbreaking. Um, no one wishes that on anyone. I promise I do not have any hate for her. Um, my heart broke for her children. Um, I saw when, when her son was there, I saw Mark, who would be 15 now. I saw you know, um, I'm, I'm a mother, you know, and it, so it, it wasn't easy, but it will bring me closure. I know your, your husband's been very quiet through this whole thing. We would like to really hear from you. <laughs> <laughs> we are, you know, finally can move on, finally can. We have been waiting for a closure. We have been wait, honestly, we have been waiting for Mrs. Grossman to apologize, to take responsibility. And uh, she, she, she just chose to fight it to the end. And, and, and it was heartbreaking to see the, the lawyers' lies and conspiracy theories. And, and I, I, I'm, 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 I'm amazed and glad that despite all their tricks, they couldn't trick our system or the jurors. And, and, and I, I appreciate that we had, you know, smart and dedicated and hard-working jury and, and, and the prosecutors were very dedicated, very honest, very hard-working uh, and, and, you know, sometimes it was true fight between the truth and, and evil tricks uh, uh, and, and, and the truth won and, and, and I, I, I think it, it's attestation to, to, to the truth here. So it, it allows me to just move on and, and uh, and heal and and not allow uh, any hatred or any uh, uh, loss of peace to to, to, to to affect how I feel and and uh, I hope everyone heals everyone learns from this experience uh, including everyone involved from all sides and and also the community you know and and hopefully this you know saves lives saves other kids in the future what would you want to say to the jury thank, thank you and, and good evening and, and welcome to kcal news at five we are joining a press conference regarding the grossman murder trial she has been found guilty of at least two counts of murder let's listen into the press conference outside the van nuys courthouse uh you know executing uh, you know she had the one of the you know big big firms and and many firms go and and they 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 it, it was amazing how uh 
how they lie. I mean, like, they, they, I don't know how to say it, but they, are, they, they just lie, 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 and, 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 and I, uh, it, 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 I, I was shocked by the lies, but I, I was also worried that, you know, if, you, know you can fall for, for those lies. So, so they didn't. They, they are smart. They focus on the evidence, and, and uh, uh, they, they took it serious. They didn't... You know, they they, they, they they paid attention, and 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 six weeks, and and very hard work, and a lot of patience. So, I, I really appreciate them. Like God bless them all. You talked about getting closure, um, but the healing process now begins. What does that healing process look like? Because I mean, it looks like you have an incredible amount of healing going on. What does that look like? Yes, we have a large support group. We're thankful for our community. We're thankful to everyone here. Everyone's been with us throughout this. Julie Cohen, uh, Wesley Welling, Jenny Nagel, many, many people in our community. We're forever thankful. Our church, Ascension Lutheran Oaks Christian, um, Archangel Michael and Simi Valley, Culver City, uh, Holy Resurrection Church. We're super thankful um, and we're uh, taking them all with us into our healing journey and we'll do as much good as we can to the community and help as many uh, children as possible who are in need in the name of Mark and Jacob. Nancy, can you talk about what it's been like for your two surviving children this whole it's been, it's been very hard on Zachary. He has seen it happen. He was with us. He only knew his two brothers. He was only five years old at the time. Um, he still, I, I don't think he's fully digested it yet. He's still trying to understand why something like that would happen. He has very strong memories of it. Um, so we've been, um, you know, dealing with a lot of trauma. And your daughter was just My daughter was one at the time, yeah. She does talk about her brothers in heaven, uh, but in a different way than what Zachary says. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. It's Kareem, right? Yeah. And that was Nancy and Kareem Iskander, the parents of the two boys who were killed uh, just outside the courthouse speaking after the guilty verdict of Rebecca Grossman. She was found guilty this afternoon on all counts of murder, vehicular manslaughter, and hit and run. Uh, this is a special edition of KCAL News at 5 o'clock, and we are going to be wrapping up on KCAL News, but we are now live on CBS Channel 2. And uh, it's just very hard to imagine that this happened really four years ago now. Yeah. This happened in 2020. That's so, right. Family talking about getting some closure, mm -hmm. but of course we're going to have more on this. That's right. That guilty verdict coming down just about a half hour ago. That's right. And KCAL News reporter Jasmine Veal is live at the Van Nuys Courthouse. Jazz, you were inside the courtroom when that verdict was read. Uh, yeah, Pat, uh, very, very emotional. So when that verdict was read again, we just heard from the Iskander family, right? The mother and the father there, Nancy and Kareem. But inside, less than 20 minutes ago, as that verdict was handed down, guilty on all five counts, you heard gasps, sobs, from um, both families, the children of Rebecca Grossman uh, wailing into their father's arms uh, as their mother, Rebecca Grossman, uh, was handcuffed and led away by deputies. Um, her children at that point, they jumped up out of their seats. Uh, deputies had to step in and hold them back as uh, Rebecca, as she passed them, she said, uh, can I give them a kiss? And of course, that was not allowed, and she was walked out of the courtroom. Uh, the daughter turned around at one point and looked toward the general direction of the Iskander family and, her, and their supporters who were sitting in the courtroom. And the daughter said, "How, uh, her words, how would you do this?" As they were, as they were let. Okay, Grossman's uh, being let. Uh, or the family there, the Grossman family now just also walked out of the courtroom. So I'm, I'm going to step out of the way here. Uh, the kids, the children hugging their dad, her son and daughter. And that was the position they also had there in the in the courtroom um, as that verdict was read. So, of course, media following them. As again, I just said, Rebecca was handcuffed and, and led away. Um, guilty on all counts. The, and even with the allegations like fleeing the scene of a crime. So guilty on two counts of murder. 
we have the list of these charges. I don't know if we can pull that up. But again, guilty on two counts of murder, two counts of gross vehicular manslaughter, and one count of hit and run resulting in death. The Eskander family, um, um, very emotional with this news, as Nancy just told us here during this uh, news conference that this trial, every day, it felt like the funeral of her two boys. And that Mark and Jacob, she said, did not die. They were murdered. And that just proved uh, what happened here today, she said. And she thanked the jury. She says that it's been very hard on their surviving brother, Zach, as he has been trying to understand what happened that day. Again, this was more than three years ago, but what they've had to live with day in and day out. Her husband, Kareem, says it, it was uh, very tough, he says, to see the lies uh, from the defense. Um, now, l let me tell you what else was happening inside that courtroom. It was highly guarded. You had seven deputy sheriff's deputies guarding the door. Um, there were at one point they could not let anyone else inside of the courtroom because it was so packed uh, with um, not only media, but again, with both of those families uh, being inside. This was six weeks, uh, six week long trial, uh, two days of deliberations. Uh, we also, uh, what happened this morning was was the fact that the jurors wanted to come back into the courtroom to have some testimony reread to them from two eyewitnesses um, and also from mom Nancy Iskander uh, before they decided on a verdict. So we reread some of that testimony, um, you know, and even that was very emotional for her friends and family to hear as they, they burst out crying as that testimony was reread to those jurors. Um, we also saw Rebecca Grossman um, surrounded by, as, as you just saw all day, surrounded by her daughter and her husband. Uh, the defense had argued at the end of all of this when the verdict was read and, and uh, Rebecca had been led away in handcuffs. The defense had argued for Grossman actually to remain on bail to prepare for that sentencing, but the judge said no. Uh, she's been convicted of some very serious crimes for murdering children and he can no longer delay justice. In this case, so sentencing will take place in April. Um, and Nancy just said during the news conference, as we bring it back out here live, Nancy just said uh, that she was going to leave the decision on that sentencing up to the judge. She did not speak about that, but we do know that, um, it, you know, if, it, and she was convicted on all counts, that it would be 34 years to life in prison. Uh, so uh, that is the latest here in Van Nuys in front of the courtroom. Uh, again, the Iskanders just left along with the, uh, with the Grossman family. I'll send it back to you. You know, um, Jazz, I know it's probably too early to talk about this, but I'm just going to throw it out there anyway mm -hmm. in terms of a civil trial. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they lost yeah. um, this particular, right, the criminal uh, proceedings. That could certainly come, and I'm sure there, there probably was no talk of that uh, today, I, I, I would imagine. I also want to talk about the other person that the defense tried to bring into this, and that was the mm -hmm. uh, for, former Dodger mm -hmm. um, pitcher. Is, is there any... Thing or any For any them. chatter that you've heard about them possibly going after him again or not? Well, nothing today, but that's a good question, Pat. Uh, I reached out to his attorney, uh, Mark Worksman, and uh, he just sent me an email. It was very brief. He said, I am not talking about this case. I'm only emailing you as a courtesy. And so that was from his attorney, Scott Erickson's attorney, her then boyfriend at the time. And that was the defense's uh, case right there. They were placing the blame on him in that black SUV saying that he hit those children first and they were then thrown onto Rebecca Grossman's white SUV. So so that was their argument this entire time. His name, you're right, it, it was a, it was at the center of this case. Um, so no, so we have not heard what's next. Uh, and, and I've heard from other sources, uh, from some experts who've been following this trial that he may be out of the country and maybe the defense kept him away um, on purpose. So we'll see what happens. Um, I also heard that the Iskanders um, may be looking into uh, other lawsuits, obviously, as you said, civil lawsuits, uh, whether it has to do uh, uh, where this happened, where the, where the hit, uh, sorry, where those two brothers were hit and killed. So looking at maybe the city there uh, going after a, a lawsuit there. But what we will see, and, and it's just so fresh right now with this verdict, guilty on all counts. Mm. Jasmine Veal live from the Van Nuys Courthouse yeah. this afternoon. Thank you so much for that update.